Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and tonight we are going to be doing our cooking vlog and we're going to be cooking one of the first meals that I got from my second um, Blue Apron box tonight. And tonight is going to be kind of a tough night because I got home very late from work. It was a long drive back from Sarasota. I'm very, very tired and thank goodness my boyfriend was kind. He cleaned the kitchen, he brought everything out and he started the water boiling so that I could just get right or get into it right away. Um, but this is kind of a testament to like my lifestyle and if this is going to work when I don't really have the time because this is a meal that I have to cook. Now according to this one, we're making the lemon caper catfish. It is a two serving meal. It's supposed to have a prep time of 15 minutes and a cook time of 35 to 45. So to be honest, this one is going to take me a full hour to do just because there's a lot of chopping and a lot of different, again, placing of things and cooking. So. Um, I haven't been a big fan of fish lately, so I'm kind of not looking forward to the catfish, but I'm keeping my mind open. Again, I didn't pick these meals. These were just sent to me because my mom doesn't know how to pick the meals. And um, like I said, I'm just going to do it. And it's kind of one of those nights where I would rather totally go out and do something else and just get something quick. Um, but since I have it, I don't want to waste it and I don't want it to spoil. Um, so it's kind of forcing me to do this even though this is like the last thing I want to do really tonight is to cook a full meal. But I'm staying optimistic. I'm going to try. I'm going to see how hard it is tonight. But let's go ahead and get into the actual um, recipe and I'll show you what I'm starting with. Alright guys, so here it is. Here is our little ingredient list down here. And then this is the lemon caper catfish with spiced lentils and collard greens. So tonight's dinner has plenty of comforting cold weather appeal. We're dressing up catfish with a citrusy briny sauce of lemon and capers. And that actually sounds pretty good to me. Which also brightens our hearty black lentils and collard greens. For an extra depth of flavor, we're seasoning our lentils and vegetables with Ras El Hanout, a fragrant and complex Moroccan spice blend that evokes the warming notes of cinnamon, coriander, black pepper, and cumin. And I've never used that kind of spice, so that's kind of exciting. It looks very appetizing from the picture. So let's take a look at the actual ingredients I have laid out. So this one is going to be using our Anchored In American Catfish. So we've got two really, I would say, big um, big sizes of the catfish, two fillets. We have our little bag of collard greens. We have one yellow onion, one lemon, and then this is our rice flour, which again comes in just a nice little small packet. And then we have right here capers, so nice little capers here. And then a little Creekside Creamery, this is their small batch European style butter, which I like these little tiny ones. And then here is our Ras El Hanout Spice, which there it is. Looks very interesting, I'm very excited to try that, see what it smells like. and see what it tastes like. So those are the ingredients we're using tonight. Oh, I forgot our little lentils. There is our nice package of lentils. And then here's our nutrition facts. So this one is going to be 650 calories once prepared um, per serving. And total fat, 24 grams, cholesterol, 125 milligrams, sodium, 610 milligrams, carbohydrates, 55 grams. So that's what we're working with tonight. And we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. Okay guys, I wanted to give you a little update about where we are, so I'm going to show you what's going on on the stove. So I just put that spice in and I'm trying to um, sweat the onions a little bit and it smells so good. I really smell that cinnamon, but it's also got a mixture of those other spices, I think got cumin in there, so it's a really interesting 
but really fragrant, like enjoyable spice. And then I pulled these off, I drained them, and I just got them on low. These are the lentils, we're gonna keep them warm for the moment. So once these sweat a little, we'll go ahead and put in the collard greens, but I need to add salt and pepper um, before we, we do that. But we are getting there, guys. We are getting there slowly but surely. We just got done with the meal and I just kind of wanted to give you like a recap of my thoughts on this one. Um, my boyfriend really liked it. He ate the entire thing and I definitely think compared to the last fish we had, which was cod, this one was way more flavor. It had a lot more, um, it just, I don't know, it had a lot more intensity with the flavor than the cod did and of course I think catfish, um, I liked how it was like pan fried and the flour, I was actually looking back to see what flour we used. It was rice flour. It was really light, but it was really nice and it wasn't heavy. It was like a light batter catfish. So I really liked pan frying, pan frying it. The lemon really, you could taste it. It was really good in the catfish. So definitely the fish was a lot better. Now the lentils were kind of boring to me. I think that's why they utilized a lot of that heavy spice, which was, um, the spice was really interesting, the Ross El Hanout spice. You definitely could taste some of the cinnamon. It was kind of like a mix of sweet and not sweet flavor, which was really different. It almost, I wonder if that's um, an African kind of blend or if that's something different because it was something I had never had before mixed. I mean, I've had all of those spices individually, but I've never had them mixed like that. So that was a combination of cinnamon, coriander, black pepper, and cumin. And again, just an interesting combination. So the lentils were a little bit boring. The onions were good because they had that really unique taste. Um, I think overall, I would say it it was just okay because again, I'm not really into fish right now, just on a personal like personal preference level. So it was just okay, but it was definitely way better than the cod. So I really did enjoy it. Um, it took me, like I said, I was a little tired coming home. I'm glad I went ahead and forced myself to do it though. It did turn out really nice. And I was a little bit worried as I was kind of pan frying the fish because it was starting to have a lot of different flavors going in and the capers and the butter and it was starting to smell interesting. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I actually really, really did like how the fish turned out and it um, cooked really nicely. I was worried I was gonna overcook it. It didn't overcook and everything turned out, I would say, decently well. And my least favorite thing from the meal was probably just the lentils because I found them to be kind of a boring grain. But again, the onions did spice it up. The, um, the actual collard greens I thought were a little bland too, but um, 
like I said, this one was just okay for me. My boyfriend really liked it, so it was his preference that he thought it was pretty good. But um, the sauce that we, we did on it was really nice. So I just wanted to say that the sauce was really good. I did need a zester. I still need that to do the zesting of the lemon. But overall, it was just okay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you thought. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!